information overload is is not something that's new to us. If you go back even as far as the telegraph, when it came on the scene, people were talking about information overload because suddenly information was coming from the outside world into their closed little world, their closed context. So it's not a new problem, but through the internet, suddenly there's so much information that um, we hardly know what to do with it. And where I'm concerned is that I think a lot of Christians are now thinking that information is inherently good. And really there's a bit of a hierarchy here. You have information, then you have knowledge, and then you have wisdom. And so our task as Christians is to find information that we can think about, turn into knowledge, things we really know in the heart, and then transform that into wisdom. Think about it biblically, become wise on the basis of that information. So if you're just accumulating information, you're not doing yourself any favors, you're probably harming yourself just by drowning in a sea of information. So take information, yes, but think about it, work on it, think of it biblically, pray about it, transform it into wisdom, and then just ask yourself, how am I going to live better? How am I going to live for God's glory on the basis of this information? If it can't help you live for God's glory, then maybe you don't need that information in your life.